to do what are the problems with plantings. You're going to hear more from Becky, Rebecca Esser in just a moment. But this is kind of the crux of the issue. How can we figure out to be more successful right on every time the first time? Starting from scratch. The Prairie Construction Initiative is what came out of that meeting. And we have had some, um, given the, the funding <coughs> decline that we've, we've experienced, all of us have experienced in the last <coughs> several years, this group was getting on its feet. Going, as that funding was going downhill, we were trying to build momentum in this effort. And so that's why we're here. We want all of you to hear what those products are. What are the things that we have worked on? Um, these <laughs> people who are working with less staff, but still have made time to work to try to resolve some issues. We, so we picked some, what we thought were low-hanging fruit and we move forward. So all of us have some similar stories and today we want to, to share with you some of the things we've learned and we will have a, a panel discussion with some people that have are either researchers or they are in the field doing prairie reconstruction and um, then we'll be able to hear from you. What are your questions for them? And then the final, we'll have a wonderful keynote speaker um, who I think is gonna challenge all of us Scott Weber from Wisconsin. We'll hear more from him. Um, and we, at the end of this day, will have a chance for everyone to weigh in. We're going to do a round or a, a, a World Cafe format session to hear. We have some questions we're going to put on tables and have you groups have groups work on answering those questions, but we want to hear what your biggest concerns are, what you think our, big, our best approach is. So there's a, there's, there's a big agenda we have today. We have a lot of things we're going to do. I'm really super excited. We were hoping, <coughs> we weren't sure we'd get as many as, we thought our top limit we'd be able to get here is 75 people. And you guys busted our, our expectations. We have 124 people here today. In January, in Fergus Falls, frickin' Minnesota. <laughs> so that's fantastic, and I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to um, invite, one of the things I think is really important for us to understand is not only is it, not, is, not only is it good and, and necessary for us to have the sorts of meetings we're having and, and some kind of, some version of a collaborative effort, but it's also important that kids get to know, they get to touch, and, and there's some way for them to gain a context and ownership of prairie throughout the regions, all of our regions. I'm not talking Fish and Wildlife Service. We're here at a Fish and Wildlife Service facility, beautiful facility, but all of us have, we need ways to get kids involved. And so I'm going to invite, um, I'd like for you to hear from the horse's mouth, who's going to talk a little bit about what goes on here at the Prairie Learning Center. The, uh, and. Um, I really want you to hear it from the people who have worked so hard. Welcome. Uh, Larry Martin is my name. <clears throat> I'm the project leader here. Sue McDonald yes. here is, is our uh, visitor service manager here at the Prairie. And uh, yeah, we were planning on 75, 80, you know, and then the 124 was like, okay, where are we going to park them and where are we going to put them? So um, I, I heard a few say that's kind of tight. Well, I guess you got the choice of standing up or sitting down. So. <laughs> One of the two. On the Prairie, um, we have over 220 students from the Prairie Science class, fourth and fifth graders from the Fergus Falls District that comes to this facility every day. And they are outside every day unless it's lightning or it's below 20 below zero. So it's not below 20 below zero today, so they will be out on the Prairie. So when I watch everybody kind of start looking at the students wandering around out there, I'll know that they're out there. So. Um, it, it, Fantastic education facility, um, you know, one of a kind, and we are trying to promote that <coughs> throughout the service and other places to, to get something like this going. And, and I know that they're working on Sherburn, Devil's Lake has a, a facility that's working similar to this one. So, um, you know, it's, it's fantastic for the city of Fergus Falls, but we also deal with many, many schools um, 75 to 100 miles away every year bring your students here for day use programs also. So we have uh, the staff here, 
provide uh, education on Tuesdays to the Prairie Science class. Otherwise, it's actually Fergus Falls school teachers that are stationed right here that teach that class. And then our educators teach all of the rest of the schools when they're coming here. So, um, like I said, if anybody has questions, uh, please feel free to, to holler, um, pursue or I during the rest of the day. We will be around here. I don't want to take up a lot of your time because uh, we have important things to do about discussing prairie restoration. Sue is going to pass out uh, a few flyers. Just uh, please share them amongst your tables and, and pass them around. It just has our highlights from uh, fiscal year 2015. So that will give you an idea of, of uh, how important this facility actually is to the local community and, like I said, to the surrounding area. So welcome and uh, beautiful day in the prairie. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's really my